Officials have been facing very challenging situations. In September, a crane operator accidentally knocked a steel beam into a spent fuel pool in the building of Reactor 3. The worker was removing debris at the time. A power blackout in March caused the suspension of cooling systems for spent fuel over nearly 30 hours. Officials believe a rat caused a short circuit in an electric switchboard. Contaminated water leaks are another problem. Utility officials say groundwater is seeping into the buildings at a rate of 400 tons per day. The more time it takes to decommission the reactors, the more risks engineers will be exposed to. They need to revise the roadmap as they go to deal with the specific difficulties they encounter and prepare backup plans. The biggest challenge will be to remove melted fuel from the crippled reactors. A meltdown occurred in 1979 at the Three Mile Island nuclear plant in the United States. But the melted fuel remained within the reactor's core. The meltdown sent Fukushima Daiichi caused the fuel to eat through the core of the reactors. Engineers still don't know the exact location of the melted fuel. Workers at Fukushima Daiichi have completed another project in their long-running effort to deal with decontaminated water. In April, they found a number of leaks in the underground pools at the nuclear plant, but they finished transferring the water from those pools to tanks above ground. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company decided to stop using all seven pools after learning of the leaks. They decided to move about 24,000 tons of water to tanks above ground. Crews started transferring it in mid-April. TEPCO officials plan to store all of the water above ground, but they have to deal with more and more contaminated water every day. Officials plan to install more tanks, but space is limited. They had hoped to release uh, groundwater into the ocean before it seeps into the reactor buildings. But they're finding it difficult to reach an agreement with local fishermen who fear what that might do to the waters offshore. Japanese engineers may be able to start removing fuel from the reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant earlier than previously expected. Officials of the government and the plant's operators say they want to speed up the process. They've drafted a new roadmap for getting the work done. The officials jointly released a revised timetable for decommissioning the four reactors damaged in the earthquake and tsunami two years ago. The plan covers various scenarios for removing the melted nuclear fuel from three of them. It calls for work to begin on separate dates for each of the reactors. Engineers will start with the number one and two reactors in the year 2020 at the earliest. That's 18 months sooner than the previous plan. But work on reactor number two could be delayed until 2024. It will depend on how quickly engineers can decontaminate the reactor building. Radiation levels remain high at the plant. Engineers now depend on remote-controlled robots to work inside the reactors. The timetable is subject to change depending on whether they can develop new technology. French President Francois Hollande has emphasized a partnership with Japan on a variety of issues ranging from anti-terrorism efforts to nuclear development. Hollande on Saturday wrapped up a three-day visit to Japan. Prime Minister Abe and I have agreed that the two countries hold regular talks over a wide range of issues, not just concerning Asia, but the whole world. Hollande also said if Abe's economic policies revitalize Japan's economy, it will be in Europe's interest. But he said he hopes Japan's monetary easing is not an intentional move to drive down the yen. Hollande also referred to a consortium of Japanese and French companies that won a bid for a nuclear power plant project in Turkey. Hollande said France has the world's most trusted nuclear technology. He added he wants to join with Japan to promote safe nuclear development. The two leaders said the defense and foreign ministers of their countries will discuss the joint development of defense equipment. They also unveiled a new partnership to export nuclear power technology. They said they will support overseas sales of a nuclear reactor developed by two companies from France and Japan. We can cooperate not only in the energy field, but in other fields as well. Abe and Hollande also said their countries will exchange information on the security situation in the Middle East and Africa.